brisket is done. This is stupid. But it's we're ridiculous. Super full. I can't even eat. I'm full. And I look at this. Wow. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you can find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to What's it. What's with the shaking in the hands? Well, I'm trying to prolong my manicure I thought as we were long as possible. For you to do nails now. I have banged these things into everything. In fact, well, they don't look it. I am so not used to. You haven't chewed them. I haven't chewed them. I'm so proud of me. Are you all proud? I have not I'm bit proud my nails. Of you. But I was, right before we left for Keto Palooza, I was cutting some of the protein bread and I actually started slicing mm -hmm. through my the nail. Speaking of we have to get eggs so we can make protein bread. Yes, because we can have it. We can have protein bread. I'm also feeling extra fancy today because I got some new lipstick. Uh, oh, that's from beautiful, Erica. Beautiful girl gone keto. She She makes this bronzed diamonds lipstick. And it's, it's got sparkles in it. I like So that. I'm all about it. You know you that. You were all like, when I said, like, we're going to buy some. You're like, I, Rachel wants to buy, like, lipstick from a dollar store. Well, Certain things don't buy from a dollar store. Here's the thing. This is, like, so fancy and nice. I thought it was going to be, like, $50 a thing. And it wasn't. It was it's like really. like 12 bucks or something it was, like that. Or, or 15, 15 or 2 for 25 It was really good. Okay. Um, you know how we have this it's thing. It's got on, an egg in it. It's got a tablespoon of butter and a raw egg. For all you who are like, ew, raw egg. It doesn't taste like raw taste egg, it. but it gives the most delicious froth. That's crazy. And when you combine it with a tablespoon of butter, you're going to swear you're drinking heavy cream in there. For the people who, not necessarily keto people, but the outside keep, pe uh, people, when they ask you butter in your coffee, that sounds disgusting. What do you think cream comes from? Right. Right. Actually, you can take your same heavy whipping cream, throw it in a Vitamix for about a minute, and you get butter. butter. Yeah. So it's the same thing. You're just reversing the process. I wouldn't Lion King this. No. I would just do the egg thing. But it tastes delicious. It's a great way to get a little bit of fat in. It's a great way to get a little protein Did you get all there. the allergies? I got all the allergies. All today. of them. Yeah, I, that's it's probably a lack of sleep because I was up till two in the morning editing videos. Isn't that funny how which, it triggers it? Which leads me to what I was going to discuss with you real quickly. Mm -hmm. And we got to make it quick because these vlogs are not supposed to be forty minutes I long. Know. And once again, we did a forty-minute vlog yesterday. We get excited. Okay, to talk so to quick. You. you know how we have this thing in our marriage that we wake up together so we can read, and, yeah. and now we have to vlog. Can we rethink that? Why? Because I don't want to get up yet. You don't want to get back up? to bed. Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta sit up straight. Bronson's gonna beat me up when he sees me and on he this could. video. So yeah, Bronson talked about posture, and I do. I I don't know why. Maybe it's my old age. I'm getting bad posture, and I notice. Well, there's when I no walk, excuse because you're close in age to him. And when I walk, I, I kind of like angle over. I think it's all the driving. Probably. So I want to. I'm actually gonna help. call him later today. I was no, no, just in general because I drive a lot, and I noticed when we were driving that I drive hunched over and I think my back is just doing that so halfway through the ride home duct tape I, yourself to the seat no that's the key what I had Rachel do was take my holding pillow which is like 35 years old because it's like squeezable it's basically useless and I had her put it here in the small of my back did you even feel it oh I did because it hurt and it forced me to like go like this for the whole ride home or half the ride home and it really helped so uh, yeah, but Bronson's been talking about posture and, and doing things properly, and it was really cool. I ha I'm going to call him later about a couple of other things, but if you are one of our Patreons, I got good news for you. Bronson, if you we didn't tell you already, 
is going to be doing a 30 minute Zoom call for all of our Patreons, all of them, five, 10 or $25 level, the second Tuesday of every month, I believe it's at 6 p.m. Eastern time, but all the details are gonna be over on the Patreon page, but I'm super excited about that. Me too. Because Bronson is like us. He just cares about the community. He wants you to be well. He wants to get people healthy, he wants to get them well, and he's willing to do whatever is possible. Now, we actually did a whole series with Bronson, right? Yeah, the No Joke Challenge The No Joke Challenge. And uh, he actually created a program it was kind of created for you guys, our subscribers. Now it's open to everybody, but he created it for you guys. So if you can't do heavy weights and stuff like that, it's a simple like getting started kind of program where you're using your body weight and stretches and things like that. And if you use the link down below, it's 20 bucks. Now we don't make any money. That it's was part of the us. deal that we had said to him. And he was like, oh, well we can do an affiliate. I'm like, I don't want an affiliate. I want you to lower the price and give it to them. I don't want it because we care about your health. Yeah. But that's like, okay, it's a few dollars more than like a Planet Fitness membership, but you're gonna get a lot more out of it because you also get access to Bronson. And when you're done with your workout, he's not gonna hand you a donut or a slice of pizza yeah. or try to undermine your success. Yeah. I know you've gotta get going. I've gotta wait a little while because nobody wants me cutting their lawn at six in the morning. Um, Why not? Plus, I just turned on the smoker. This is a reason to get up. Mm -hmm. That's happening today. This is happening today. Salt what are you going to eat? Salt and pepper. Got it on there. Now I want to listen to salt and pepper. I'm so excited about this. Me but too. We're going to probably eat more than just brisket. This is probably two days. So I know you've got to get going. Um, I'm going to have some electrolytes and I'm going to have the I'm going to go back to bed this morning. Oh, we did a review for those yesterday. Yeah, because they're they working came out, really good. They, they came out today. And honestly, it's keeping me. Which ones me, are you doing? I, I'm going, I'm doing the hydration plus. Okay. Yeah. That's the most like electrolyte, but it's half the price of a real light stick. It kind of upsets me because real light sticks are so good, but you can save half the money. Well, I really like these and it's helping me stay on track because I think without the electrolytes, I'm going to feel terrible and quit. That's true. Oh, okay. Not to make this long. I know you have to go. Seeing a lot of comments in Facebook. People are quitting because of electrolytes? Well, people are quitting or getting upset because they're having headaches and things like that. Mm. If you're having headaches, it's one of three things. Okay. It is number one, and probably on the top, if you were drinking a bunch of things like Relight or Zip Fizz, uh, it is coffee, probably electrolytes. Yeah. Okay. Headaches generally come from low sodium. Increase your salt. So that's number one. Number two. I think it's right here. Coffee withdrawal or caffeine withdrawal. If you were drinking a lot of coffee or if you were drinking a lot of soda, that's another possibility. Number three carbon sugar withdrawal. If there's no other medical problems, those are the three things that are generally gonna cause those headaches. That is something that I have to take a look at, right? Mm -hmm. if, if, if I'm having a headache or if I'm having withdrawal, I have to think for a second, why is this thing bossing me around? That's right. I, d I you know, that was one of the reasons why I did a cold turkey cut of coffee in the past because I didn't like this beverage telling me where to go and when to go. Right. So I needed to kind of have a reboot. So this is a good chance mm -hmm. to, to work out some ingredients because maybe it's some carb issues, mm -hmm. work in more electrolytes if it's an electrolyte deficiency. But if it's coffee, I enjoy my coffee. I don't want my coffee running my life though. Right. Yeah. I mean, and that's the thing. That's why we say 25 days. Well, Dr. Barry says 90 days for the whole challenge. Yeah. Normally we would do 30 days, which we still may, depending we might. on how we'll we try. I don't know. If I'm having really good results, we may just say straight through it. Right. We're, we're going to go all the way through the, the holidays. But when you say 25 or 30 days, that's at least three weeks. And now it becomes what we say is a holy habit. If you can make three weeks with one cup of coffee. Right. If you can make three weeks with no artificial sweeteners or no natural sweeteners. Not saying you have to live without it forever, but it becomes this thing of, I can do it. The first couple days, they suck. They, yeah. they just do. Power through it. 
I'm also seeing a lot of people who are saying, hey, I started this when you mentioned it in Omaha, and I'm down 10 pounds. I've got less fat. I feel better. So, so they're on the other side of it. So power through it if you're doing it. Again, this is not mandatory. I can tell you we're on day four. I'm shocked that I don't want to eat more than we are. Like I'm I am like too. I'm supposed to be eating more. I can eat as much as I want. I want to eat the whole brisket, but I'm not hungry. Now I'm, I am making sure we get all our protein right. in, but I'm just not as hungry. And that's just showing me how much emotional snacking and eating on things that yep. were not beef, butter, bacon, or eggs that I was doing. So we just got home from work and uh I'm gonna go check on the brisket. Also, I'm trying to figure out why we don't have any eggs. I said to Anthony, how come we have no eggs from you know when Rachel and I were gone? And he said, I don't know. We, I mean, there just were never any eggs. Now I know we have a broody chicken, but he said we got like maybe six eggs and that doesn't make sense because with four chickens, we should be getting at least two eggs a day. Let me go ahead and check these. She's still in here, but see, now I got three today, so something doesn't make sense. So what I'm thinking is, I gotta put these up here. They're laying somewhere else. Do you hear Anthony back there? He's practicing because he plays in worship for the youth group. Okay, so brisket is about halfway done. It's probably not gonna be ready till about seven or eight o'clock. I know Rachel's gonna be hungry when she gets home, so I'm gonna go ahead and make some of Maria Emmerich's bread. And when we were in Aldi, they had a whole bunch of these. Do you see that? 50% off. So I got a lot. And what do we got? Two, four, six, eight, ten of them. I think I got them all. There were like two left and I just couldn't care anymore. So this is a meatball meatloaf meat mix. There's nothing but meat in here. And it is a blend of pork, beef, and veal. So perfect because veal is a cow. So we're gonna go ahead and make some smash burgers with this and then I'm going to vacuum seal the rest of it. Having a day, huh? It's a day. <laughs> Caleb got into a, a fender bender. He's okay. Thank you, Lord. That yeah. is my only thing. He is okay. But It could have been worse because he was on I-95. It could have been so much worse. Yep. I'm so thankful and grateful that he is okay, but you know, the embarrassment, the heartache of it happening, especially, you know, it's your first accident, hopefully his last in his life. Um, but it's scary and there's a lot of logistics, you know, you got to call and do and he needs a, a, a repair. So I'm really thankful that we are on this challenge, to be honest, because this is the time where I would reach for the nuts, reach for the cheese, yep. all the things. Yep. Well, I got you a little present. I, we I went can, to Aldi. I can I'm only... trying to hold this. And no, 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 you gotta look at it from the front. Okay. Maple and bacon coffee. It's one of those, like, buy, you know, here now and gone tomorrow things. I'm seeing something else, though. I got every one they had it at. Is this a hold the coffee day? Well, <laughs> they were $2.50 a bag for the coffee because it was, like, on clearance. Get We gotta get rid of it. So I bought them all for you. I. Because I know you love bourbon coffee. Yes. Too bad you're only allowed to have one cup a day. Right, that's all right. Pace myself. So my smash burgers are super easy. I'm gonna use whatever meat I have, which happens to be the stuff I just got at Aldi. It's a mix of ground beef, pork, and veal. I'm gonna add about a half a tablespoon of Redmond Real Salt, about a half a tablespoon of onion powder, about a half a tablespoon of the Redmond Organic Season Salt, and about a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then I'm just going to top it with a little bit of pepper. Normally I would use the Redmond garlic pepper, but I don't really have much left. We're going to go ahead and mix this up. You don't want to mix it too much, otherwise they're going to fall apart. Just trying to get all the spices and everything mixed together. And then we're going to go ahead and divide them up into smash balls. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put this in quarter pound balls. So since we have the smoker going, we're gonna go ahead and uh, smoke up this bacon. It's been curing since before we left. I'm trying to do this with one hand can be difficult. Uh, I dropped something, hold on. We, we started it before we left. So it's probably about 10 days at this point. So we got it in here. 
We're gonna go ahead and put it inside of the smoke box, which is this here. So the brisket, I'll put this down. The brisket's in here. And then what happens is, is it's dumping the smoke. Instead of going out a chimney over there, it comes into this box and then goes out that chimney. And what that means is, even though, sorry, smoke in my ass, 250 degrees over there. Uh, the top here is at 150 degrees. The bottom is right around 125 degrees. Perfect for smoking this bacon. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in now. There we go. So smash burgers are ready to go. I got the mustard on them, which is gonna help give a nice little crust. The timer just went off for the protein bread. So we're gonna let that cool down. In the meantime, some bacon and eggs on the griddle to put on top of the smash burger. Are you ready for this? I'm so ready. Smash burgers while we wait for the brisket. I want to fix the tag in the back of your shirt so badly right now. Uh, it doesn't bother me, it's a work shirt. Okay. Mustard side down. Smash burger. The chicky babies would like some too, please. They're all yelling out their order. Medium rare, medium, well done. So Rachel's gone inside. Now I can make the eggs because I'm gonna make them over medium and she's not a big fan of over medium, but we can't put anything on top of the smash burgers. So you wanna use the yolks. Perfect. Yum. Look at this plate. Okay. Not quite done yet. Okay. I got a surprise for you. All right. I made mayonnaise. I love some mayonnaise, but we can't have mayonnaise. We can have this mayonnaise. What is in that mayonnaise? You'll see. So we got our smash burgers, which is that um, stuff that I found at Aldi's. So you can't have just blended up mustard. It's veal, the the med. I know how much you love veal. I'm not a fan of veal. But it's a combination of veal, uh, beef, and pork okay. for the burger meat. But it was like three dollars for a, over a pound. Each container was fifty percent. Wait, are you gonna hit this guy? Oh, I, I want you to try it. Try first. it. See if I like it. So we got a couple of smash burgers. I put the spices, mustard on top. That helps give it a nice little crust. Uh, you got eggs since. You need the, you, you want the yolk to give you a nice flavor. Let's see. Well, you want to dink it? Oh, sure. You seem pretty confident I'm going to like this. I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. I don't know. I was up all night working on it. <laughs> what the heck? You can have mayonnaise. How? How is this happening on my plate right now? Well, I got to thinking when we were in, you know, Kentucky, I was talking to Chris. I'm like, you know, you make mayonnaise with avocado oil. Right. And you can make it with olive oil, though it's disgusting. And people make it with bacon grease, which you're not a big fan of. I think we might, you might like it if we like cleaned the bacon grease. The first time we tried it, we literally used it right out of the pan. That did not go well. It didn't. Why not well, butter? It's good. It's butter. It's butter. Butter mayonnaise. Wow. But, see, I knew you could make butter wow. mayonnaise, but mayonnaise can be tricky. Yeah. So, I had to figure out how could we duplicate the recipe that we have mm. making it in a mesa jar, which I was able to accomplish. So, you don't have to worry about the trickling, because if you trickle it in, then it doesn't work right. So, yep. This is amazing. So, you're basically... Are we sharing this? Yes, we're gonna make a recipe video on it. And basically what this is, is a cup of butter 
with your eggs and your mustard and your vinegar and we emulsified it all mm. and you got mayonnaise now anthony since this is ours was like i can just eat it just like this oh yeah i could absolutely just eat it like that not good how did you get it to be so like like hard did you leave it overnight in the fridge put some yeah. on my steak at first I was like, it didn't work because it was kind of liquidy. And mm -hmm. I was like, wow, it's butter. Right. So. Wow, that's good. Now, this has been in the refrigerator for, I don't know, about 18 hours. So, it's not going to get any thicker than this. So, it's like it's like a very thick mayonnaise. Like whipped. Like, yeah. You could thin it out with a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Why would you but want it? I, I want it spreadable. I want to Me try too. it. Me, too. So, we got these bacon-wrapped <gasps> steak bits, which these were smoked. I didn't put them in the air fryer. Those are good. Oh. That is flippin' delicious. Do you know I could not eat another piece of food if you forced me? What are you talking about? I know. Who is this talking? You didn't even eat that much. I am so flippin' full. We need to eat more. I don't even think we're at our protein goal yet. Wow, that's kind of scary, actually. We have a $50 brisket sitting in the smoker. It's done. Yeah, let it rest, though. Well, it is resting. It's Maybe. kind of cool. I, you're in the middle of the shot, so I'm probably oh, not sorry. even in the frame. But Sorry. Um, it's kind of cool, so I just took it out of the smoker. And I put it in the egg, which is still warm, because that egg will stay warm for hours. You know, when it's it's designed to really hold that heat in, it takes like eight hours for it to cool down after you had it cook in there. So I just have it in there as the egg is cooling down because the bacon is still smoking, because we have a whole batch of bacon coming. Meat after meat, Me yeah. waves of meat. I am so bummed. Brisket is done. This is stupid. But it's we're ridiculous. Super full i can't even eat i'm full and i look at this wow i got a brisket <laughs> it smells so good i want to eat this right now but i feel like if we cut into this it's gonna be it's pretty, gonna dry out it's gonna dry tomorrow. out so i'm gonna wrap this up and then wrap it up again and then i'm gonna wrap it in a towel uh-huh. I'm going to stick it in the Komodo grill outside. Okay. With just no... No refrigeration. But no heat under it. No heat. What's it between that and a cooler? That thing is just as insulated as a cooler. Yeah. Wow. And we got this. Look at the fat on this. That looks Bacon. so good. Don't you just want to like slice it across oh, the top and yeah. eat the fat? Well, we're going to refrigerate this. Okay. I don't have a napkin for my hand, but we're going to refrigerate this, and then tomorrow we will slice this up. Like the, slice the bacon. Good morning. Rise and grind. So this is the end of day three, but it's the start of day four. Here's why it's the end of day three. Because last night we sat down, very sad, with a brisket. And we're like, we're full. I couldn't eat anything. We couldn't eat anything. So Joe was like, let's wrap it up. And put it into the Komodo Joe because that thing, like I put my hand on there, it's still warm. Still warm. Fire's been out since five o'clock, four o'clock yesterday. Perfect place to just kind of store it and let it rest. Yeah, and we were going to, and then I started thinking, you know, there is such a thing like mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Um, there is such a thing as having too much Butter rest. Butter mayonnaise. And um, I was like, yeah, that means it's not going to be quite as good as it should be. Because it was already resting for like four hours. So then we thought, well, we should just go ahead and eat it. Not because we're hungry, but because we want to make sure that we get the best bite of the brisket yeah. before we put it in the refrigerator. But it was resting to the point where when I cut, there were no juices. Yeah. So like when I cut it, there were no juices. So I took three pieces. We each had three pieces it's off good. of the flat end. I know you were like, I want the fatty side. I did. But I want to leave the fatty side because the fatty side, the point end, reheats better. Right. Because that fat will just start melting. The flat side doesn't reheat as well, 
But that is gonna be like food today. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it into a silicone bag and we're gonna heat it up in the uh, sous vide. I'm gonna pull out the sous vide, I'm gonna put it in a silicone bag and we're gonna heat it up that way. That's gonna be your best shot for reheating barbecue without it drying out. Don't stick it in the microwave, that's horrible. So if you put it, if you have a sous vide, put it in a bag, reheat it that way. That way it will retain all the juices. Good tip. Can we talk about how cute my coffee mug is? I like that. Where'd you get it? Lisa and James gave it to me at Keto Palooza. Thank you guys so much. I absolutely love it. And also look at this. They got me um, a salt and pepper shaker, but for me it's salt and Redmond seasoning blends. Oh, that's really cute. Right? I just I like keep that. it right behind me on the bed. And then they found what we cannot find, cannot find, and that's marjoram leaves. So thank you. I got to fill another one of these containers, so I'm super excited. We have excited. to finish those up. Yeah. So, um, by, can I just say the the butter mayonnaise, which when when you just leave it sitting in the refrigerator, kind of just looks like whipped butter. Yeah. Again, if you want it like more of a mayonnaise consistency, you're gonna add water. Uh, make sure you're subscribed so to like the that. channel with the little bell button, because so, that recipe video is coming out soon. We were supposed to do it yesterday, but. Uh, car things. The car accident like pretty much took the wind out of our it, day. It, it kind of took everything out. So yeah. we are drinking a cup of coffee. Is that your cup? I mean that's a much smaller cup than yesterday. It's deceiving how much it it, it, it carries. It, oh really? It doesn't yeah. have a lot more? This chicken. It holds a lot. She knows where it's at. Well I guess it's a rooster. Is that a rooster? Yeah. Right? Well no. They all have combs. Kind of... it, I, I think it's a rooster. I think it's a rooster. Well, because he's doing good. Good morning, like a rooster. Well, he's a Brahma. So, um, we're drinking coffee. We put uh, everything into the blender. We each have about a tablespoon of butter, and it was one raw egg split between the two of us. I like the foam you get with the raw egg. We actually have to pour it out of the blender using a spoon to block the foam. Otherwise, you get all foam. All foam. So, yeah, overall, I'm super impressed with how we feel on this whole adventure. Yeah. It really is shocking me that we don't want to eat more and it's it's really bringing about some questions of our eating habits. And and we'll talk about that as it goes as we go through this, but I'm not saying we're never having a Nola bar or never having a piece of keto chocolate or a pudding or anything like no. that. But it, it's making me think of why was I eating those things before? Or why was I eating in general? And I think some of it comes down to food insecurity. And maybe we'll talk about that in the day five vlog. Yeah. So we are going to head out to drop off Rachel's car because of all the issues we had with the drive to Keto Palooza. We're going to have a very empty driveway. We're going to have, I'll actually be able to pull out without having to do one of these we things. We could have a Zumba class in our driveway now. <laughs> So we're going to go drop that off. That should be interesting because we do not have an appointment. So I want to see how that all goes. And then I'm going to head off to work. Now, let us know down in the comment section, how are you doing on the beef, butter, bacon, and egg challenge? It's kind of funny. Like, sometimes we call beef, butter, bacon, and egg. And sometimes we're calling it beef, bacon, butter. Which which way are we supposed to be calling it? Beef, butter, bacon, and egg. Right? I like beef, butter, bacon, and eggs because bacon I gotta and eggs. I change the thumbnails now. I like bacon and eggs seem like it goes together. Okay, to so me. beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. And beef and butter go great together because put a little bit of butter on your hamburger. Mm -hmm. That is like the Wisconsin buttery. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, or on your brisket or on your steak, butter makes everything better. Yeah. So let us know. Are you following along? How are you doing? Are you noticing anything that you weren't expecting? Yeah. Like again, we were not expecting to not eat more food than we're already eating. I really thought we were gonna be eating a lot more food. So let us know. Um, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.